in engineering maths 2 friends we will today complete unit 1 by already in unit 1 we have done straight lines now today i am taking up conic sections if we do these conic sections this will be finished first first unit will be finished now <clears throat> What are these conic sections? First, let us see what, is, what are these conic sections. If we take a cone, a right cone, a cone is like this. These lines are called generators. This is called as the axis of the generator. By cutting this right cone in different ways, we get different sections. We are, those sections, because they are obtained from the cone, they are called as conic, conic sections. Now, if I cut this by a plane, which is perpendicular to the axis of the cone, then what I get is, I get a circle. I get a circle. If I cut it like this, this will give me an ellipse, the section. This section here, if I remove this, what I get will be an ellipse. If I cut it by a plane parallel to the generator, end generator, I get a hyperbola. And if I cut it by a section plane which is parallel to the axis, I get a parabola. Now these four figures, four shapes are known as the conic sections. What are they? Circle, circle, the other one is ellipse, the third one is parabola and the fourth one is hyperbola. They are called as the conic sections and for us this is not there, we don't have this. We have these, we have to study this. These curves, these shapes are of some use in engineering to us. Now, for example, when you, when a missile is fired, the path traced by it, by the missile is parabolic in nature. You, in, in for example, in mechanical engineering, we get a process called hyperbolic process, hyperbolic process. Right. So, if you uh, draw a graph between any two quantities which are inversely proportional to each other, the curve will be hyperbolic. By looking at the curve, we can know what is the relationship. So, anyway, these curves are important to us in engineering. Therefore, they have been prescribed here. Except circle, the other three are there. Now, these sections, these curves, can also be defined in one more way. That is, they can be defined as the <coughs> locus of a point. You already know what is meant by locus. Locus of a point means it's free to move. Locus means it is free to move. And the distance of this Suppose this is a one, sim, one fixed point. This S is called focus. This is called, this line which I have drawn here, perpendicular to this line, is called as the directrix. Directrix. Now, in these three curves, <coughs> the path, the, uh, this thing, the locus traced by a moving point will be such that it, it bears a constant ratio to the distance between this point and the distance between this line. They keep a constant ratio, they trace like this. When you do like that, what happens is, see, you will get a parabola like this. A parabola will come like this. Here, 
if you take this as point P, x, y. Now, the ratio of this distance to this distance, that is called as the perpendicular distance from this line to that point and this distance, if I call this point as M, then this ratio of SP to SM, that is, oh sorry, SP to PM, SP to PM, the distance of the point from the fixed point or the focus to, from, uh, to the distance of the point from the directrix, which is, a, which is a fixed line, this ratio will be a constant, will be a constant. Now, if this ratio is exactly equal to 1, then the curve that you get by the moving point, the curve traced by that moving point or the locus of that point will be parabolic or parabola. Now, if it is less than 1, if this constant is, this ratio is less than 1, then the curve traced will be an ellipse. This is the curve traced, it will be an ellipse. If it is equal to 1, it is parabola. If it is less than 1, it is ellipse. This is ellipse. ellipse. If it is greater than 1, if this ratio is greater than 1, then the curve that is traced by the moving point. Here also you have a point P, X, Y. If it is this thing, then it will come like this. This will go, this, this, this will get parallel, they will never meet. This will be parallel. These two diverge like this and they go around the world and come back and end here. The yeah, hyperbola will end here. This is the counterpart of that. They come in two parts. So, this is called as the ellipse. This is called as the hyperbola. These two are called the hyperbola. So, if in the case of hyperbola, the eccentricity will be greater than 1. This you must know. Next. Next. This line is called as the directrix, this point, fixed point is called as the focus and this is called as the axis, the axis of the curves, all the three curves, they come like this, they are conic sections. Now, <clears throat> let us take them one by one and see what is their standard equation. First, we'll take up a parabola. Parabola. Its eccentricity. Eccentricity. E is equal to 1. Its standard equation standard equation is y square is equal to 4ax if it is like this this is the x axis this is the y axis so this is the parabola like this this is the parabola you can have this way also, but that will be virtual. This way also you can have four parabolas, but we have only one, which is this represented by this equation. It is like this. This is called the vertex of the parabola. You have a focus here. Yes, uh, that will be A0. A0, its coordinates will be A0. The vertex will be... 0, 0 and the directrix will be x, this will be the equation to the directrix will be x plus a 
x plus a is equal to 0. That will be the directrix. Eccentricity is 1. Vertex is 0, 0. The focus vertex A. Focus S. Focus is S A0. And this, if you draw a perpendicular line through this, this line from here to here is called lattice rectum. Lattice rectum. This lattice, uh, length of lattice rectum. Length of lattice rectum. will be equal to 4a 4a length of lattice rectum will be equal to 4a vertex will be 0 0 focus will be a 0 these are the things that will be asked to you given this you given this you may be asked to write this or given this you may be asked to find the vertex focus and length of lattice rectum so this is, these are the formulae which you have to remember as far as parabola goes. Now, next we go to ellipse. Again, let us say, this is the x-axis. This is the y axis. This point is 0, 0 origin. This is x axis. If this is the ellipse, ellipse, there are two foci here S dash and S. Two foci. There are two directrix two directrix on either side right this is s yes. this is called the major axis major axis this is called the minor axis smaller of the two this is minor axis Now, for ellipse, for ellipse, the standard equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This is the standard equation of an ellipse. Length of major axis. Major axis will be equal to 2a. Minor axis will be equal to 2b and uh, the eccentricity the eccentricity e will be equal to e will be equal to eccentricity e will be equal to root of a square plus b square divided by a. Eccentricity will be a square plus b square divided by a. Length of lattice rectum. Length of lattice rectum will be 2b square by a. b 
2b square by a. That is, there will be two here, two lattice system. This is one, this is one, two. Both will be of same distance. This will be minus a e zero. This will be a e zero. The two foci will be one focus will be plus a e zero. The other one will be minus a e zero. Those are the things to be remembered by you. This is vertex. This is this is a positive. This is a dash. This will be uh, a zero. This will be minus a zero. These are the things that this is called the axis of the uh, ellipse. Axis will be horizontal axis. So these things we must remember in the case of ellipse. Next, hyperbola, third one. This is the axis, axis, two axis. So this is zero, zero. Now one part of the hyperbola comes here. The other part comes here. These are called the two vertices. These two are the vertices. It will also have two foci. This is dash. This is the lat lattice rectum here, lattice rectum there. Uh, that A A dash is called the transverse axis. Here, standard equation will be to a hyperbola. Standard equation is x square by a square minus minus y square by b square is equal to 1. In ellipse it is x square by a square plus y square by b square. Here it is this thing. Now <laughs> eccentricity will be eccentricity will be root of a square plus b square divided by a divided by a this vertices will be a0 minus a0 uh, this transverse axis transverse axis It is A A dash transverse axis. A A dash will be two A two A four side S will be A E zero and S dash will be minus A E minus A E zero. minus a e 0 the directrix will be this thing and the length of lattice rectum will be length of lattice rectum will be 2 b square by a 2 b square by a so these formulae you have to you are supposed to remember and after that we have to do problems on this uh, from the question papers and this thing okay shall we take up